not watch TV with old folks. Because <laughs> they're going to get you hooked on something. <laughs> yeah, my group, yeah. What you watching you know, now, bro? <laughs> Chicago Fire. You are out of control, man. Hey, 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 is that? I did that show working there. You may you may see me pop up on one of them joints. Hey, every time I get ready to write it off, something happens, and I'll be like, Dick Wolf, you son of a bitch, you better than me. <laughs> Damn it. Man, you come straight out of a cup. Welcome, happy new year. Welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. We have we have a uh, prime Clint Coley, ex-con Scott Lack, and Deuce mm-hmm. the Conqueror. And you know, if you don't see CT uh, make a presence here, I'm trying to a comic book, then that means we are talking about something that's just dropped. And you know, to, for him to keep his purity of watching the movie and having that experience, he he don't be in this shit. He don't he don't he don't participate. He don't like the trailers, man. Mm-hmm. He's like, I decline getting ready to discuss this. But once I've seen it. Bitch, you better have me on this show so we can talk about it. I'm in too deep. <laughs> We're in too deep. And it's already kicking off amazing. And it hasn't even, hasn't nothing has dropped yet. But uh, we were blessed to have a trailer for uh, the second trailer for Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, uh, released this past Monday. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, something new to the, the, the uh, Straight Up a Comic Book. We are actually going to watch the trailer. I want us to be able to have a fresh mind, a fresh showing of. Oh, we know what's saying. Oh yeah, we know what we're saying. <laughs> we, know, we might, we might, we, we yeah. you know, we want to make sure it's fresh in our mind. But before we start, man, I know it's a new year, so I want to just know how everyone's doing. Starting off with Beyond Lack, man, how is your 2023, good sir? Um, you know, I'm I'm coming from grieving, but I'm I'm past it. You know, I have a bunch of loved ones around me and friends that has reminded me that I'm loved and needed, and mm-hmm. and I'm I'm getting back out here. I feel like I'm getting back into the dating world, <laughs> but I'm. But it's not that it's like getting back into the funny world. It's like uh, breaking up with with uh, sorrow, and now I got to get back into life. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, man, life is grand. Um, I watched Ant Man one and two yesterday, just to kind of see if how they're gonna tie things together, or if, oh, if yeah. they will. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Deuce, what about yourself? You know, uh, just like Dion, man, getting over some grieving as well. But you know, like I said, you get a once you once you get with all family and you kind of get that reset like you know what i'm saying and then also like i know for me what was dope was just you know even though in that moment of like grieving and everything like that you get to hear from family who like you might may not see on a daily basis yeah and they bigging you up for the, some of the things that you've been doing you like dang mm-hmm. i didn't even know you was really watching like that you yeah, know what i'm saying dope. so like mm-hmm. you start feeling like okay and then like i said um you know i talk to y'all after but like i got i got like a lot of good that that happened this first hey. week of 2023 that it's gonna that that is gonna be like big big so i'm like i said right now man i'm feeling really great about 20 uh 2023 we redid our whole studio so we in geek set 3.5 okay so like everything looked really dope like yeah I'm, I'm excited for what's to come yes sir uh clint how about yourself man hey man uh i'm good you know um I finally gained my uh, confidence back. I, I sat it, sat around for the last two months, not really wanting to do no jokes, not wanting to, you know, you know, I had a rough, I had a rough tour this year or last year. Um, but uh, after that, man, you know, now that you got your confidence back, and you, uh, you know, I'm ready to get back in ring fight. That's how, yeah. that's how, that's how I feel about 2023. You know, I'm from around the way. I'm leaving here with something. I'm leaving here with something. It looked like it looked like came from round the way. Yeah. Hey, I'm leaving here with something. Hey, hey, Will, 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 I know you asked all of us how we doing, man. Hey, how the fuck are you doing? Right. Oh, yeah. uh, appreciate that, man. Uh, I kind of feel like y'all, bro. 2022 punched me in the fucking face a yeah. lot um it definitely made me have to go um retreat if you will like mm-hmm. um try to just regroup and the same thing with y'all just trying to really get back in the saddle like i think just like how y'all all said um even to like amazing things are starting to come into you know like fruition for 2023 but just kind of really like okay getting those wheels turned again of shooting this stuff being able to like you know go do what, what it is we normally and typically do so um but trying to you know keep keep all of that 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 happened there in the 2022 and just 
keeping it moving forward for 2023 and learning from you know everything we'd have been through. So, mm-hmm. but man, yeah. So, but um, as I said though, we got a lot of uh, prosperous things coming for ourselves personally, yeah. but also movie fan wise. Like we yeah. said, man, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania new mm-hmm. trailer dropped. And they uh were definitely highlighting our Kang. Kang. Our Kang. We're going to see the Kangs, y'all. We're going to see the Kangs. We're going to see the Kangs. <laughs> okay, well, I hope people do. Yo, why do you remember Kangs. that myth reference, Joe? <laughs> I'm going to see the, the Kangs. Kangs. Not the Kangs. <laughs> The guys. Yeah, it was that one yeah. reference from uh, Kings of Comedy that one. Yep. <laughs> I just want Jonathan Bates to do that. You know, it's real quick, I met I Kings met that here. woman that said that's that. crazy. I met the, wow. She was I met her in Charlotte. Yeah, man, uh, she came to see. You know, I used to roll, roll with DL. She came to see him, and she was and D was like, "Yo, you know what this is?" I'm like, "Nah." She's like, "Yeah." She oh, she's like, "Go ahead, say it." She's like, I'm going to see. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's, that's dope, crazy. Dog. That is dope. That's dope, dog. She part that of history. Is crazy. Facts. Yes, Facts. Is. Facts. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, normally, I know we just jump into talking about it and stuff like that. But I wanted us to be able to have a fresh eyes on the trailer and mm-hmm. uh, wanted to play it for us to uh, be able, you know, just to get a little refresh, of course. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, man. I feel like we, I feel like new rock stars right now, dog. We watching the trailer. <laughs> we about to react. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is this is stepping it up, man. Stepping it up. <laughs> I, I like this. That's all it's Yo, about, man. <laughs> right. You got Scott, Scott Lang and this lady now, they famous. Right. Yo, like I really want to hear his podcast now. Yeah. Like, right. They I love should people really have a podcast have though. Daughter. Cassie like getting locked up. Okay, which is which is, is really crazy, yo, to like miss out on your kid for several mm. amount of years. And you gotta yeah. kind of jump back into the swing of things with her. Yeah. And not only do you jump back in it, you jump into some mythical shit with her. Like, like, oh <laughs> right. Facts. <laughs> but like your girlfriend's grandmama was trapped down here. First of all, can years. we talk about his blue? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I'm glad they did that. Yeah, shit, instead of crazy. instead of making his skin. Yep. That was dope. Yeah. Because it makes so sense. Even, oh, my bad, go ahead. I was going to say, it makes sense with knowing how Shut much he travels into the Galactic League and through, yeah. like, you have your you have your own way. That way you can breathe. So you can, breathe you can be is. anywhere. I just yep. lost yeah. so much. I definitely want to talk about what do you, what do you think he, what did he chance. offer Scott um, in exchange? I'm, I'm, we're going to talk about it. I see yeah, you both yeah. getting excited. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. got theories. I got theories. I got like, theories. Why was Scott Let's so important to him? This is a crazy ass scene, right? This is yeah. crazy. Which which makes me think though it's happening yeah, in something even smaller than the quantum realm. Yeah. Because it showed Cassie looking at something like if she's looking, waiting for him to get out of that orb that he's in. So that's even yeah. more interested yeah. in like what different level of the quantum realm in this and it's why is it doing that to him? You may not want her to watch this. We had Kang. We're like, he about to wreak havoc, man. God Bro, damn. Jonathan, Jonathan Major's gonna have an amazing. He got He's gonna have to show so many different characteristics yes. traits with all his variants. Oh, Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't yeah. seen nothing like that since Bane and other uh, Dark Knight. Right, exactly. that's what that was. I nearly adopted the dog. <laughs> What's crazy about the trailer too, when you see like the the trajectory of his acting, like he come in calm, but by the end he is he is a conqueror. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like, bro, like dog. What? This is not he who remains, man. Not, not at no, all. Not at all. So 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 y'all think he's gonna last an extra five six movies, or this is him? This is it? Well, well, wait, 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 who is he? You talking about? Who is he? Yeah, talking about Kane. Uh, Kane. I, oh, I he's, think so. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has so. My the bad. Kane Dynasty, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because just mean, about gotta remember, he's got to be in Loki too. We know yep. that for a fact. You know what I'm saying? So there. So he's in two things this year automatically. But those are two a, different characters, right? Those two different variants, right? They're going to be two different variants. Yep. Well, no, yeah, three Loki. actually. No, 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 three. Because like we don't know which version of Kane Loki is going to now run. Right. Into. We don't know who that is. Right. Exactly. Yeah, this will be the third version. Yep. Yeah, because that could be Supreme Kang, for mm-hmm. all we know. So the one who got killed is the one who who remains. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's the one that's a million years old. So that's the one that's been through all of this already. Yeah. And just see it all. Cycle. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So these are the ones that got released. I I think we are gonna see a lot of him because the more I watch this second trailer, it makes me think this is not an Ant Man movie. This is Kang's movie and okay. Ant Man being put in his situation. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Because even like they even like they said, getting ready for a new dynasty. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're not talking about Ant Man when you say that. Ant Man don't have a dynasty. <laughs> yeah. No. So it's just it's just like yo, whatever it is, this dude is planning. It has something that's not even going to just affect like out like six one six. It's something major setting up because there has to be a reason he was kept down there and trapped. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, because right. right. uh, moms was telling him she was like, "Fam, do not trust him." Because remember, she been down there with them for a grip, so she knows which variant that is for for a uh, fact. Yeah. And so she try, she trying to tell him like, "Look, whatever he offering you, don't believe this nigga because he, he like this he's nigga boy, he on bullshit. He's on bullshit. <laughs> Yo, he from around the way. <laughs> Picture her being in there he's stuck for the thirty years and having it sucked back in there. She's like, "Nigga." Well, she yeah. was, but remember, she was upset. So if you remember in the first trailer when they yeah. did have the dialogue, right. the, um, Cassie did it. And she was like, turn that off. Turn, turn that like, shit off now. So yeah. when she got back, like my the running theory that we have at Geek Set is that whatever happened in that quantum realm, she wasn't supposed to get out when Scott got her out. So yeah. like, like he kind of like whatever she did to get out, however she got out, like it, he probably looking at her like, oh, you, you tricked me. So now she like, Damn, I'm back, and I this nigga probably pissed at me. Like that's right, my theory. Sure. Like, is which, which what you plan is history. I got I gotta agree with you on that because that lets me have confirmed my theories that uh Michelle Pfeiffer character ain't shit. I know everybody <laughs> yeah. was happy that yeah, she got dog. out, but I do I like yo, she ain't shit. Because yeah, she you got, know, she didn't got. She probably dude, don't forget. She probably fucking with Bill Murray character down there. Like, <laughs> but not only, not only that, she had no problem sending Scott in there a second time, which is why he got stuck when they yeah. blipped. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, so you send him there, but then when it was like, wait, you got a signal for the quantum realm, and I'm in this room. Cut that shit. I'm like, you ain't even worried about them. You worried about right. yourself. Yeah. I right. can't go back. I can't right. go back. <laughs> I'm wanted in the quantum right, realm. like I'm something had to happen. She definitely wanted in the quantum realm. I do believe that shit for sure. Yeah, yeah. So what do you I think? What do you think Kane's plan is? Uh, why does it? Why is Scott so important, bro? So, I don't know. Well, I, for me, I know I feel like it's a time heist. Some, oh, not a time heist. Something to do with a heist because that's what Scott is. Scott is a thief, so I feel like it has something to do with the heist. But from watching these two trailers, I still don't know what the plot of this story is. Well, my show. No, well, or, you, you, know, go, you go. What bro. I was, what I was thinking was, so I think the movie is going to start off with showing Kang's origins, not his origin story, but like they're going to start. I believe the movie is going to start off with some th- some whatever's going on in the quantum realm, right? And then I think that the plot is going to be, you know, like they said that um, Kang is missing something to power up his time machine. That's really what he needs. And at the end of the day, the only one who can retrieve that shit is Ant Man. And if yep. Ant Man does, and, and he made a deal with Ant Man, like, look, I can send you back in time where you don't miss the five year or whatever years that you've missed off Cassie's life. Blah 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 blah. Ant Man says I'm taking it. Kang, I think Ant Man delivers on on his promise or, or delivers on what he's supposed to do. And then I believe Kang. I don't know if he double crosses him, but I do think he has a secret agenda that he did not tell Ant Man. And yeah. that is where. And that's where. You know, we we, we yeah. get introduced to quantum mania. As, as, yeah, it's the it's the um it's the it's the conqueror aspect of it. So what I believe is that, like similar to what Clint said, like I think that Kang is actually stuck in there, right? Like like he's legit stuck and can't get out. And if you think about it, there's not that many people who've been there and been out, been there and been like Ant Man, right? You know, Ant Man like, and Janet. That's yeah. it. Yep, yeah, and Janet got out and didn't go back. She was like, fuck yeah. that, I'm staying out. But Ant Man is back and forth. So he's like, he's like, bro, so you've been here and you got out and you back? He was like, so he's like, I think that he's gonna, like I said, he's gonna tell him, like, yo, I can help you get that time back if you help me get out. You know what I'm saying? He probably gonna link because he said, you're interesting, right? The fact that he names his daughter. I feel like he's going to lean in on that, like, you know, you know, I got a daughter out there, too. And he's like, you know, right. help me get out so I can see my right. daughter and I'll help you get that mm-hmm. time back. But then when he gets him what he needs, he realizes, oh, shit, you got an army and you're trying to conquer. And that's what I so think. I also think part of this has to do with Ravona Renslayer. Um, in the comments, we know that Kang's main motive is oh, yeah. to, is, to is, is, is like a lot of it has to do with Ravona Renslayer and don't forget in loki we don't know where she went when she walked through that door oh we don't we don't know where she we <laughs> don't. don't know where she went so and you know we don't know if she's a 
if she's with Kang or if she's with He Who Remains. We don't, we don't, we don't know. We don't know any of that. We just know that she's, yeah, she's in search of free will. Yeah. Now, see, I, I, I somewhat agree with that, but here's why. Here's why I'm slightly skeptical Talk. because of what we've seen. One is something that uh, um, Michelle Pfeiffer's character mentioned was he can rewrite construct basically he can construct realities yes he can so what leads me to believe is too though if you go back iron man figured out how to time travel through the quantum realm right and kang is is 20 times smarter than him yes he so is. my thing is i think he has time travel down pat and i think he can get out the quantum realm what I think he's looking for is something that's going to give him the edge to fight his other variants. That's going to make him. Mm. I think what he's looking for is to become Kane Prime. Mm. Yeah. Because like then, the, the, the time travel thing just seems too smart. You got to remember, like, this dude is moving a lot of pieces on the board. And everything he had, like, he has a whole... And he has an army. He has an yeah, army. He has an bro. army that's been building under everybody's with, radar. With Modoc. <laughs> Yeah. With Moda. Oh my God. Woo. And she you know, Modoc having a face. Like yeah, I, heard, face. I heard Modoc was supposed to be uh Darren Cross. It is. It so is. when his arm went in like that, mm -hmm. yeah, the yeah, theory, yeah, yeah. The theory that we talked about what as he went through the quantum realm, I think that's what caused he got his recorded. stuff. Yeah, and I think that's what it and all that quantum energy expanded his brain and stuff. And I think um Kang makes his doomsday chair, which is his life support to be able to help him move. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I, he, and I, it looked like he serves Kang. So whatever deal yeah. they got, yeah, because because I'm sure he they on the same page of just like yo, this is what I want, this is my goal, this is what I'm trying to do too. So it's like okay, bet. But mm -hmm. well, hearing what y'all thinking, I, I, I'm I'm picturing since since Scott Lang is a thief, and he's good with heist, it might be like Die Hard three when they do a bunch of strategic, go there, go there, go there, and it, and and. Everything falls apart, and that that was the whole plan to not got the power to uh to to get a piece from here. Like it's gonna be like a heist from a different whole bunch of different. Oh, it's like a Grand Theft Auto heist. Like you yeah, to get, you know yeah. I don't Grand Theft GTA. Like before you actually do the heist, you gotta go steal a bus. Yeah, you go steal a plane. You gotta go get mm. the blueprints. You gotta yeah. go. You know what I'm saying? All like, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So one thing too is then from from your your point and perspective of saying that Dion then. Most of the suit action we've seen in the trailers comes before they start dressing down and go on these missions. Yeah, so it seems yeah, like that. It seems yeah. like that. Like how you said that. I think that proposal that he's going to give Scott is going to come rather early in here, rather than them watching us have them go through the quantum quantum realm themselves mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's interesting. So that is, but also, there's a shot where we've seen Cassie coming out of jail. So that might yeah. be one of those moments of like, damn it, man! I, because I ha wasn't here for my daughter so much, this is why I need to get go back she's, to. I need to get that time back. He, yeah, he's basically feeling some type of way that she's also following his footsteps. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget she's and she's probably not getting like. Look, let's really look at what Scott was too when it came to you know his his thievery. Right? He mm -hmm. wasn't like a bad like he wasn't a thief who wanted money or blah blah blah. He was stealing from he was also robbing other shit. Yeah, stealing yeah. from the rich and giving it back to the poor, like you know what I'm saying. And I believe Cassie was probably on the same on, on somewhat of the same shit. He just Clint, she was Clint. She was better. She stole a whole face. She got a whole <laughs> new face. She do this. This chick is fucking diabolical as a thief. <laughs> Yo, you're right. <laughs> what happened to the actual actor? What, what happened? Was it a contract issue? Or they just like she ain't? Um, she ain't I think they just. I think they just wanted to fit her better in with it because of yeah. like for the franchise and stuff like Damn. that. Because she could be able to go longer. That hurt my soul, nigga. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, y'all just didn't even say nothing on this. Hey, just... But this is the second time they did that. They did the same thing with Hulk. They didn't address that. Yeah, well, they, well, they, they did address they, that because of time issues. Yeah, recently. Yeah, they did because yeah. of time issues that, that he yeah. couldn't do it. But at the time, we just, we when 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 Hulk uh, appeared in the Avengers, we were like, who's this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, they didn't they didn't dress War Machine either. They, yeah, they, they did. did. That was they, the best one right there. Yeah. yeah, he said, I wasn't expecting you. He said, I'm here. Let's get over it. Let's get past Let's this. Move on. Oh, yeah. that, that, was, that, was, that was the shot. He that showed me. Yeah. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Wasn't now expecting you. Let's get over it. Let's get past <laughs> it. I think, the, real quick, just the real quick, the best like recast and like 
like you know the, like the TV play with it was when they replaced Aunt Viv. Yeah, that oh, yeah. was to me the funniest shit. Like yeah. Jazz <laughs> walked in. I don't know, but there's something different about you. <laughs> ever, ever since you had that baby, you've been looking different. You've been looking <laughs> real different. Ever, like, <laughs> you got shorter. Uh, let's not <laughs> let's not address the big ass elephant in the room. Your hair is different. Right. Uh, right. right. You ain't been disciplined the kids like you used to. Like no. Used to. <laughs> where's, where's, the, where's the black history lessons? Like you ain't getting right. any lessons anymore. Like <laughs> They said you ain't been going to the college to teach no more. You ain't been showing up. I ain't see you do this. I see your dance class wow. heard about you. Like, they're like, where you been? <laughs> Even Nikki looking at you real weird. Like, what's going on? So here's here's the next thing, right? So we all know that I mean, as I mean, I'm not a comic book nerd, but I do know about King the Conqueror. You can't beat Ant Man can't beat him. At oh, no, all. he definitely cannot. No, he can't no. beat there's nobody there that can beat him. So the question is. Does, does Ant Man die in this movie? It looked like it, bro. There was two scenes in here. He got turned to the, he got, one of his. I don't know if that was him or a variant that got turned to spaghetti. But then also, yeah. hey, Kang Kang stomped him out like that. That was stomped that was him the, out. that was menace yeah. to society. Stomp out. That was yeah. stomped him out. I, I, I that, that that was for America. You can't reaction. win here. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gotta win. <laughs> Did you think you could no? Win? Before that, he 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 he, he said, "Oh, you thought you was gonna win?" Like, he gonna like win? <laughs> he came at him hard, dog. right? Like you no, I, you can't win because he doesn't have any powers, man. Like Ant Man, well, what what can he do? To, well, to- here's the thing, though. Too, we gotta remember, like Nathan. Like, even though these are two very huge obstacles, Nathan is very smart and has technology at his side, yep. but he's not strong. No. Like, like if you if you if you really like mess with his pride and stuff like that and go square toe to toe, like even that man can kick his ass. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. He, yeah, he's not strong, so it's like so that. But he powers because because that's that's, that's the technology. So that's yeah, the technology. His, his origin his origin story. He used to get bullied in school and shit like that. Like they used to talk. Mm-hmm. They, like Kang, low key Kang was. I mean, for lack of a better word, he was pussy. Like I I hate to say it like that, but <laughs> that's really what it was. And. Yeah. He has he just has infinite technology to where he knows your next move. He knows every time you're gonna when you're gonna strike. That's what he remains was doing. Like, look, Sylvie, no, nah, nigga, you can't get, touch me. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> like remember he yeah, in that moment he was laughing at him. He's like, fam, it's right here. Read it. It's I like it's right I here. know exactly what you're going to do. Like right. <laughs> so, yeah. And even handed it to you, look, you can even read what's about to happen next. <laughs> right. You're still gonna do it. <laughs> So yeah, so it's like, but the thing about Ant Man, like his suit does give him, like, you remember, he, the, it amplifies his strength like a like an ant, like so it's mm-hmm. what a ten times his 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 body weight or something like that. Mm-hmm. So like, even though like you said, he doesn't necessarily have any powers. Just like Iron Man, his suit is what gives him the power. It gives him everything that he needs to be, um, you know, a formidable uh, a fighter. But the thing is, when you're dealing with somebody whose technology is further advanced, then yeah, you, you it's it's obsolete. Yeah. And then also too, we got to remember, Ant Man and the rest of them are still kind of at a disadvantage because they're in the quantum realm, so they do have to be careful. Yeah. When it comes to shrinking and increasing, yeah, there's no yeah. telling what pockets they can fall into doing that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, go ahead. No, no I was going to say, and then so, and then like I said, and then like in, in, with the quantum realm. It's just this is this nigga's playhouse. Not even just what you can slip into. He's oh, been that's... here, so it's like you know what I'm saying. Like you, you got a, mm-hmm. he got the he got the upper hand right off the rip. He literally has a whole whole city. He has home court advantage. Man, this yeah. motherfucker, you're you're playing ball in Chronopolis, my guy. Like, yeah. you're, you're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's similar. But, but, to, it's I say it's similar to like in Wakanda Forever when they went to the water to fight Namor and his people. It was like. Bro, you you you're going in their in yeah. their playhouse for this final battle. That doesn't make sense. So Yo, them on one ship just was very questionable to me. Y'all took one boat. One that, that was, was it. it. Yeah. So like with this one, yeah, yeah. He, you're in his playhouse. The fact that his pyramid, his base is like it. It looked like his his base has um elements of everything. Like it's a pyramid. It got like the ten rings symbolization in there. Yeah. Like his base yeah. looked beasty as hell. But but what we can say is though he's not the only one that's been there. 
Oh, yeah. So even in building that, there has to be some type of resistance that's been built up to try to keep him at bay as well, because I'm sure that there's people that's down there that's not with that and what he's trying to do and maybe want to come try to come to uh, Scott to be able to stop that stuff. But I don't see it happening. Like, I don't I don't know what this dude got. Like, even like with Bill Murray, it's like, yo, he may have Bill Murray in his pocket. Yeah, like I don't know what that is. Like, yo, they got a hierarchy in the quantum realm. Like you Man, saw, like this. the different well, classes. This. If if this the quantum realm, is this the six one six quantum realm or the quantum realm is everywhere? Quantum realm is everywhere. So yeah. that's how, and you got to remember that's how you can navigate through not only just time but through the multiverse. Yeah, can that? Yep. It's really through the the quantum realm is its own separate space. Wow, you, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like. Of, of, of like all of the all of the 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 different timelines or whatever, if they go into the quantum realm, they're going to this place right here. It's like Time the grand, it's like the Grand Central Station of, of everything. Like it can wow, take yeah. you to the astro plane. It can take you to the different multiverses that you wanted to go to. Yep. It's kind of like that. You know, yep. it'd be dope if if it was a scene. You know, like on on Back to the Future Two, when you can see a scene from another part of the movie from from the first one. Yeah. It'd be dope if we see like them going through on Endgame to go yeah, to like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know to, to well, go somewhere else. They may because there's there was that one part where they was flashing back to uh, 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 Ant Man's memories when he was like you know when he was uh, when Scott was with his daughter and everything like that. Like I feel like memories are going to play a part in this some mm -hmm. way or in form. Like yeah, it's, and yeah. that tra that navigating through it would truly show his power because remember that was late breaking when they did the time heist. That was like, oh shit! Like we we just did a time heist, right? Yeah. So if you so and look what it took for them to to do that. So if you go into this realm and then Kang is just doing it like, oh, look, let me show you what I can do because you got to think he has to he has to gain Scott's trust some way or another. Mm -hmm. So the only and the easy like if I just told you, oh, I can do this, you're like, all right, whatever, I don't know. But to actually take him through his memories like that, and it's not like a. Or like a vision, but like we are actually going through these, and you're like, damn, it took us like forever to try to get this, you know what I'm saying? But you just mm -hmm. doing it like that, that will flex his power to get Scott to be like, all right, wait a minute, let me hear what you got to say. Now, another flex I saw that might be just, just on some cane, but now this is this is my this is my hear me out, all right? <laughs> this is my hear it's me your, out, it's your bad pitch, as they call it. No, this is this is this is my okay, either either you making a lot of sense. Or bro, you you didn't cast that net out too far. You did <laughs> now. You just you just fishing. So hear me out. What I'm thinking is the part where you see all the multiple Ant Men. Mm -hmm. What I'm thinking is that is every scenario that Kang is putting Ant Man's of every multiverse through at the same exact time. Like watching that one unravel the way all they're chasing each other. I feel yeah. like every single Kang in some form is making them go do that. And that's wow. how we get to realize how many Kangs are really battling one another. Because it looks like it's a race between all of them. It doesn't look yeah. like they're trying to achieve the same goal. They're, they're, all of them are yeah. trying to get there and oh. save their whatever it is is being put there being so put it's this ant-man special versus the, all, all the other ones i agree with you though that's a very good yeah thing, but what because this Ant -Man? so 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 real quick real quick if you there's a scene where scott is walking kind of dazed to a corner i don't think that's the real scott it looked like it looked like it was a different version of scott he was kind of like like walking in the days yeah and they had modok you know what I'm talking about so it's like that could have been a different version. So he might be had to be battling with other like, are you the real Scott? Are you our Scott? Yeah. So I think they might be doing one of those things. And yeah. also, like now I'm trying to put pieces together from like the other trailers because remember there was the, there was that moment where he meets where he meets Scott and he's like, I'm Ant Man. He's like, Hey, did I kill you before? Yeah, right? I killed you. He like didn't I kill you before? Something like he has that moment. So like it kind of goes with what Will's saying because like yeah. If you are like, I be killing, I be killing Ant Man's, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I, like, I be killing these niggas, and then you get introduced to another one. You're like, wait, could, didn't I kill you before, bro? Like, that's like, oh, dog, that's crazy. He, I, I don't know. know. Is he useless in the quantum realm? Who? Who? If he's already small, pause. Be, but he could go smaller. <laughs> he can go smaller in the quantum realm. Yeah, he just has to be careful not to go like that. That full, full yeah. like micro size, because then he can get lost fully in it. Yeah. I'm like, I feel like he's used to Tra that. What is it? Trapped in the time vortex or some shit like that? Yeah, he can like fall that, into yeah. a time. Yeah, he can fall into one of them tunnels or anything like that. No, so I wouldn't. 
him in the quantum realm is the because we talk about in the world he's shrinking down small. So mm-hmm. we went down lower. Super is it called supersonic? Uh, wherever he said. And so no, 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 no. So remember, we don't. Size in the quantum realm. And yeah, we don't know what level the quantum realm is. We don't know where he is in the quantum realm. And then two, uh, Kane could be have made that self sustaining where he's at, so yeah. to where you don't have to worry about that. So he may have that blocked off to a certain point. Because remember, like when we saw Michelle Pfeiffer's character, when we saw her walking through, none of that looked like what we saw in this trailer. So it's safe to say that a lot of the, like, there's a lot of this realm that hasn't been discovered, that hasn't been used and everything like that. And it's different types of levels and stuff like that. Because even she, because remember, even when he was uh, absorbing energy, he wasn't in a place where it had like planes for him to walk on. He was just floating. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't know exactly where he could be at. So it just might be a a, a pocket where he's safe to be able to do that stuff. Yeah. Can we talk about the quantum realm in general, though? Like, right now, bro, the way that it looks, it looks so fucking dope, yeah. dog. It like, looks beautiful. It, it looks, looks beautiful. Dope. Gotta that, watch it in 3D. Gotta and, watch it in 3D. And that's the one yeah. thing I always said. I, the, the one reason that Marvel has been winning is that in a lot of these um, places, Asgard, you know what I'm saying, in the quantum realm, yeah. in Wakanda, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they're investing in the environment where it's mm-hmm. like oh i'm so it's like you feel like you're in this whole new other world and everything like that so in the quantum realm like the way that they doing it it looks so dope and it and it makes you say damn like yo this is like you get a you get a sense of it's infinite even in that even in that trailer like yo we only get a, a sample size and and i got a, i got another question too um you know I want to know how did Kang build all of this stuff in the quantum realm? How do you get, like, did, did, how did it, it, did him, like, who is this army? Like, did this army get formed in the quantum realm or did this army come with it? Like, how did he come like, with it? How, yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, how did he get there? Like, yeah. that. Well, you got, you got to remember, you got to remember one. Got contractors. Got <laughs> contractors. Facts. So <laughs> well, a few things we saw was one, we saw his soldiers were faceless. So we don't necessarily know what that is, what that's being made of. Those could be soldiers made of pure quantum energy. But oh. I will say that I believe Modoc had a big help in him building this society and building up this stuff that he needed and everything. But yeah. I think though there was already like civilization there before he got there. And just as as his name and titles, he conquered that stuff, pulled all their resources, and then turned it into yeah. what we're seeing, which is, I think, another way of showing us just like, yo, this person that we're dealing with, like, yo, this man is we don't, it's not called the conqueror for nothing. Like well, this dude came in and took everything. Yeah, because if you think about the lore too, remember the whole reason why the threat is the threat is because. The fight between all the kings is usually was just a fight between them, and then they they die, and then they start like it was just an ever lasting loop. But what ended up happening was somebody, one of the king variants, got a little bit smarter and did something different, which was hide in the quantum realm, you know. And so like that, oh. was, so that's like that that was the like wait a minute, and it threw off the whole cycle. So then he who remains was like, yeah, no, I, that's why he who remains was like, fam, I'm not scared of nobody but myself and one of my, one of me did something that I didn't expect I didn't see happening so now like I don't know how this is going to play out right so like like you said to kind of go to like what you said will and even what Clint was saying earlier I think the beginning of the film we are going to get a little bit of what happened in that that you that universal that multiversal war when that one king variant Changed the mode and got into the quantum room. Like we're gonna get a little bit into that of what happened, how that happened, and then what he's been planning because that's what's throwing everything off. Is like okay, one's there now. We got the, like then everybody started getting doing different things, and it was like the whole loop of this universal war that we know has happened is thrown off. So I think like like I, because it's a faceless army. Like I do believe that they're probably just pure. I think he. Quantum I think he. I think he might need something to beat a lion. That was going to be my next thought too. That was going, or, I, I or he's he, trying to make Goliath. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, I think he needs something. Either needs something to beat a lion, or yeah, yeah. I totally agree because yeah. when you think about it, the way that, the way that it was explained in Loki was that he who remains ended the multiversal war. 
because he had a life and nobody mm-hmm. else did. Now, yeah. if if Kang knows that, right, or if there's a Kang variant that knows that, it's like, okay, well, maybe I need to go to the quantum realm and figure out how the fuck can I beat this, yeah, this 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 monster that swallows up everything, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I because that and that's why I say I, I don't see him being stuck. Especially like with everything else that he has, it's like it doesn't seem that way. It seems like you're building something that can either be alive or that can outdo him and be able to give you the upper hand. And you need Scott to get this back for you too, because of the powers that he's possessed to be able to micro shrink himself, which again too makes a lot of sense because it's like, why would I put myself in danger when I can send you in? You go mm-hmm. in, and then I can put you in any timeline you want. I write timelines for a living. Mm-hmm. I can put you right back where you need to go. You just need to follow this little tunnel right here, and it's gonna take you back to wherever you need to go, and you could be with your daughter. So, how many, <coughs> how many well, variants you think we're gonna see in this movie? Because then that leads me to think that we're gonna see Kang the Conqueror, who's gonna have the initial plan, but whoever the time heist of what what Scott needs to steal from is going to be from a different variant. I think we're going to see at least two or three variants in this movie alone. Yeah, I I agree. And I I mean, because of that, I think we need to see just like phase four showed what happened with the blimp. We need to see what happened when she stabbed uh, the one who remains like what What happens. Like a signal happens like, Oh, Mm -hmm. we free now. Like we need, yeah. to, we need to see that transition. Because don't forget, yeah. Because don't forget, as soon as it happened, you saw that we crossed from the other end of time, and now you saw all these branches and stuff like that. Right. And I and I also think this is also going to be Marvel's way of answering why we haven't seen Fantastic Four in the MCU. Because oh, don't you- forget, don't forget, Kang is a descendant of of Reed Richards, right? Yep. So mm-hmm. clearly, uh, what's his name? Uh, he who remains was pruning timelines. That may cause a, a a Reed Richards, you know what I'm saying? Because if they if you get a Reed Richards, then you get a Nathaniel Richards. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's true. I hope. That's true. That, I, I hope my one of my theories that I hope I was like I hope that like they were there. Like I feel like my so my thought is they're the first family. This is going to be hard to explain them in this MCU timeline. But an easier way to kind of bring them in is if they have also been lost in that quantum realm, because the stuff that they've been dealing with as well, as far as scientists and goes, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be far fetched that they've been lost in it as well. So in mm-hmm. the end, like I so said, they don't have to be the focus. They don't have to be anything. But that post credit scene of whatever happens on how they get out or how, you know, whoever gets out. They also get out with them, and they That's gonna are gonna be another thing. Oh, Post credit gonna be the key. Hey, actually, you're tugging on something that makes sense to what they said. So, one thing that they had mentioned was they wanted the Fantastic Four to originally be in the '60s. Yep. Yes, they and did. That's what happened. So, if you think about it, though, what if that mission when they were in that spaceship sent them to the quantum oh, world, which wow. led Hank Pym wow. and his wife to wow. start wow. studying quantum energy, wow. and then got sent there? Wow. That's wow. that. Just like Captain America, just just going into <laughs> a period piece. Yep. And this is why we ain't seen them. Do it before we even open up 2008. Yeah, go ahead, yep. and knock them out. Yeah, yep. Yep. That could, that, they, so they seriously could be there right yeah. now. Is that how they get out? Yep. Whatever, like whatever happened with however the movie transpires. Because, like I said, we know for a fact that King the Conqueror is getting out, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's happening. Happen. We know that's getting yes. out, but he's not the only one that's going to get out. And, like, and you know, it looks like everything is Woo! going to that Ant Man's going to die. But yeah. so how so how do you how do you tear our hearts out? I don't I don't I don't I well, think y'all got the wrong Ant Man that's gonna die. Well, here's the thing. But how do you tear? Well, he may listen here. He may he may it may be like we think he's dead and he pops up later on in some movie. But it's like what what uh, what's what's a better way to tear our hearts hearts out, but also give us hope is all right. We lose an Ant Man, but oh shit, we got our first family now. Yeah. So now like because like I said, yeah. we, we we lead into. This movie is going to tell us everything for the next four or five years. This is Absolutely, telling us yeah. what is going to be. This is about to be, this is about to be civil war, man. Yeah, this is about to be a whole bunch of people ignited on here. Yep. Yeah. Another another twist could be too is that Scott Lang six one six don't make it, and the one we see fighting is from a different one. And then when she go, and then like Cassie walks up and it's like, I don't know how to put this to you, but I'm I'm not your dad. 
Uh, I'm not from that earth. Like, right, yo, right. Like, when, when you saw him go, like, I'm sorry, I can't, like, no, he really didn't make it. Because like, soon, as, soon as, all these, as soon as all these Scott Langs, Ant-Mans complete the task, Kang just kill them all, like, you know, just kill them all. And then one gets free and just constantly killing them all, like, trying to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm very, like, scared. For this. this is the first time I'm just like, yo, I don't. I don't see them making it out of this. Like, I mean, he said it. He said, "Look, I, I, I ain't got to win. We both just got to lose." Gotta lose. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Like he said that. But and like, who's on the outside? Who's on the outside of that little quantum thing? Like, I know they're not gonna bring back Ti or. Um, why not? Why not? They were barely in the second one. They were barely in the second one. Bring my boys back. You see what had happened. The fact hey, that, hey, he, he's my, the he's, fact, he, the fact he's that, my favorite narrators. Dog. He telling the story. So, yeah, I can see him like, hey, all right, let's see. Uh, they, let's just press some buttons. And then they're like, oh, shit, there goes Scott. Like, yeah. like, the fact so that I was at the subway, I, and then my homegirl came up to me, and she said, yo, have you seen your first Scott Lang? He's out. <laughs> like, oh, so I tried to go and find him, but that's like, the yo. That, you know, the fact that T.I. is in the MCU, period, makes me laugh. <laughs> me too, though. <laughs> like, let's just, let's just, the fact yeah. that. Clifford Tip Harris. Yeah. I think he might be the only rapper, right? Oh, Meg Thee Stallion. Oh, yeah. Oh, and she but she playing, playing herself, though. She, she playing herself. Play. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to so say who else Nah. That's it. Yeah, that's I think it. That's a, I, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Harry Styles is in uh, the MCU. Uh, oh, he was yeah. in Eternals, the uh, the, the little end credit oh, scene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's okay. an artist. Hell, yeah. Why are they going to tie the Eternals in this, man? Are they? What is happening with the Eternals, man? No, this about, that might be the DCU no. of, of the Marvel. <laughs> they they don't address you, anything with MCU. Like I said, the, the the Eternals is 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 Age of Ultron. We're not going to appreciate them until three, four years down the road when we start dealing with the uh, with like Galactus and stuff like that. That's when the tie. Well, we happen. did not. I did not appreciate Age of Ultron until they tied so many things yeah. from Same. that movie Same. in the last. To five fit like it was crazy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And people don't realize how much that was really the turning point in, right. in some senses of the MCU, right. like with Wanda Maximoff with the infinity stones. Like yep, we yeah. didn't know, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot and going I, on. And I remember uh in Endgame, uh I mean he he literally said, I picture this, I seen this, I seen everyone die. Yeah, like when he tied all of the he's like, I, I seen Captain America, I seen you know, what I'm saying he literally seen everybody and they literally re recreated that scene. That's what yeah, gave him his purpose. Did. That's what gave yeah. uh, uh, Iron Man his oh. whole purpose after he saw that vision of everybody dying. He was like, I, I need to to create this suit, uh, this armor. That's when he created vision. That's why he, you know, he felt the need to do the time heist and everything because he was like, I have like I've seen this, I need to prevent this or everything like that. So, yeah, so it's like that. And that's why Ultron is the greatest villain of all time. And coming so in now. above him whoa, whoa, is, whoa. is the Scarlet Witch. Think about it. She did not change that hex. She made that nigga go kill himself. She was <laughs> like, yo, die. And she never took that out of his head. And he was like, yo, I'm going to do this till I die. <laughs> You're right. Scarlet Witch is the baddest bitch in the MCU. Okay, now I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Because, man. She did. Nah, I don't think she did. No, nah, she, she, she did. You, you, I don't saw, think you saw the rip. You saw that. that, one, that. <laughs> yeah, Listen, I don't, man, I don't. unless you watch them die, they didn't die. Exactly. Yeah. You know what she did? She 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 killed herself out of existence. She like, I just don't want to be here. I can come back. I just, I'm choosing to be dead right now. Yeah, that's how powerful she is. Like, no, I'm dead. I'm not here, but I'm here. But I'm, I'm dead. Here. I'm right. still trying yeah. to see how they're gonna tie together the uh the, the X-Men Quicksilver into this. I'm still trying to see how they, why they did that. I think they're not gonna do that until Secret Wars is gonna tie into so much stuff because that, yeah, gonna... yeah. I think like I said, we're not gonna get the, like I feel like the on, the only one that makes sense to tie in or even introduce in this movie is Fantastic Four. I said, like I said, but like far as X-Men and all the other ones, I like I don't see I don't see them tying that in yet. Well, I'm still on, I'm still on my theory that every X Men we saw in Fox happened on eight three six. So the one where we saw Charles pull oh, up, yeah. I feel like that that Quicksilver from Fox, he's in that one. Mm -hmm. We that that's that whole timeline. All of that happened there. 
Yeah. And so, I, and, and so the dude, the variant version of him yeah. is that boner kid and stuff like yeah. that. In Captain, matter of fact, in Captain America one, that they may touch a little bit more in it because they're more on the political side. Because again, like my my running theory still is the mutants. We've been seeing mutants. It's a classification situation, and once the government gets in, the government is going to start classifying superpower vigil and mutants, and then we're gonna, and we're going to realize like, oh shit, like that's how they're because it'll be weird for them to say, oh yeah, now we got this new mutant gene. No, but if they do more research and they're trying to figure it out, and they're like, okay, and we now we want to govern these superhero powers, then they're mm -hmm. not going to do the uh, Sokovia Accords anymore. It's going to be something new, which is the mutant act, and it's like, all right, if you a mutant. We are governing you, and that's when that's where that's going to happen. That's my running theory. Here's another thing I got too to tie in that Quicksilver stuff. It's kind of far because uh, I could be off on it. When did Spider Man No Way Home happen? So, so that, ha that happened before Multiverse of Madness, correct? Right before yeah. it. Yeah. So. Could when that have happened, did that open the door to them universes to where Agatha could pull her powers to pull that Quicksilver into here and to have him talking like that? Because think about it, like all of that shit was open. And so once you had that big oh. red open, oh, yeah. Doctor Strange was the one focusing on the Spider-Man ones. But again, we saw others fall through the cracks and we don't know what she could have, what energy she could have been pulling from to bring him back. I totally mm. agree with that. Yeah, because yeah, because remember, yeah, when when what people forget about in No Way Home when he was doing that, there was all these shadowy figures that was coming at the top that was coming towards, yeah. right? And so yeah, that 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 does that could make sense because it's like that just because he oh just because we only saw this one pocket doesn't mean other people who are inclined to magic and stuff like that wasn't like, yo, what the fuck? Oh shit, like you know what I'm saying, and take advantage mm. of it. So and what also clarifies that is Venom didn't know who Spider-Man was. No, he didn't. He did not. He did no, he did not. So that actually validates that theory because him pulling in every Spider-Man character, that was what his was focused on. But Venom didn't know who Spider-Man was until he got there and saw it on TV. So yeah. there's no way he could have been pulled from there. So I think that riff and Multiverse of Madness is how, like y'all said, is going to be like Ultron is. I don't think we're going to see how much that really played into a lot of stuff until we start seeing it in here for mm -hmm. the MC of uh, Phase 5 and Phase 6. They were not mad at all, huh? Was, I just, I, I love, not mad I, at all. Straight. I just love the way they're kicking off Phase Five. Like they're kicking off Phase Five with look, look. I mean, we we set up a lot of new heroes in Phase Four. You know, we gave you you know like heroes that we didn't know or yeah. like, new heroes. You know, we talking mm -hmm. you know She Hawk and, and and Kate Bishop and 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 Kamala Khan and you know all of them. Yeah. And now we're about to get you're about we're about to introduce to you the biggest, the baddest villain. Mm -hmm that i think television not even just the mcu i think that television or it you know has ever seen we're never i think i think this is going jonathan major is about to become the best villain next he's going to be up there with heath ledger in my opinion yeah oh yeah no i would do 100 yeah. percent because i think he's going to be up there with heath ledger and, I, and even outside of just that is because he has to play variants and each variant is going to have to have uh, an extreme, a different person yeah yep. personality and everything like that like jonathan majors is really going to flex his acting skills and if it's pulled off correctly as as we expect it to be it, he's about to he's about to cash in many awards yeah, but also too, one thing that give, gives a lot of weight too is this one isn't going. This this next phase isn't going to take brute strength like we saw with Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man. You got your fish, you got shield, you got bullets, you got all of that. The rest of these characters we've been seeing, their big highlight points is a lot of them are very smart, a lot of yep. them are intuitive, yeah. very creative, and that's what you're going to need to take down Kane. Because I thought about it, I was like. We ain't seen a character yet that can really go toe to toe with him. Like it's just like Kang standing right there. Kang will fuck you up. <laughs> but <laughs> outsmarting him, putting all those brains together to get him to maybe turn on himself, mm -hmm. I yeah. see that being like a Illuminati. lot more possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just about to say some, that. We, they got we, some smart. They got some smart people in the MCU right now. You know, Spider Man yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we need a new uh, Shuri. Shuri is brilliant. Shuri is brilliant. Uh, Riri Williams. Riri Williams. Riri Williams. Yeah. All of all of them are really brilliant. So it's just and like, they introduce Reed Richards. Like, yeah, they like they need yeah, it's gonna need all the smart individuals to do so. 
Oh yeah, so I can see that happening, man. So, uh, but before we get out of here, I do just want to have one more so- one more solid question: Who's dying in Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania? Who do you think out of the characters? You. Easy work. Hank Pym and his wife gone. So they getting old, man. It's I'm on that one. I'm on. I'm on the same train. I think out of here. So I yeah. I said I I originally said Scott Lang's mom, my brother. He was heavy on Ant Man's going to die on this. And after I saw the trailer, I said, fuck, I kind of, I'm leaning that Ant-Man's going to die in this one. Okay. I'm going to go with Scott Lang is going to die. And I believe, I think, I think even Hope Van Dyne is going to die. Mm. Mm. Wow. I the only reason why I don't believe that is because they keep adding her to the title now. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Because you could have kept calling this Ant-Man. Like, yeah. It didn't have to say it is saying Ant Man in the Wild. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm with Dion though. I feel like the two older ones are gonna die. I feel like Hank is gonna try to get in the way from uh his wife getting killed, and then Kang is just gonna be brutal about it and take her out too, anyway, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think those two are the ones that's not gonna make it out of this movie, and that seems like that's gonna be kind of the t- the point of these next two phases is us to start kind of getting ready with like, yo, people are gonna die. Like, not know like in the way they were doing it. Like, you're gonna watch these cats get killed. Mm-hmm. And really, and I mean, when I say get killed, I mean like it ain't gonna be no pretty death either. Like, yeah. Oh no. Exactly. Now that we seen Thor. Now that we see Monte Madness, I'll say, oh, we we showing blood now in the MCU. Well, oh, sure. I mean, no, really, uh, uh, Multiverse of Madness kicked it off. That's the way that Wanda, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean um, Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness? Yeah. yeah, the way that Wanda mm-hmm. ripped through them at that point, I'm like, yo, they about to go in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm looking forward to, man. But um. I know we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And so I, this has been a great episode of Shout Out to the Comic Book. And keep tuning in because there's a lot of stuff coming out. So, you know, oh, we're yeah. not just going to be talking about Marvel movies. We're going to be talking about movies like Doom coming out, Creed 3. We're going to really start getting into a lot of these stuff. So just talk Creed about 3, great. and Jonathan Majors in that shit, too. Yes. <laughs> Knocking people down, Knocking man. People just, out. Just, just talk about the, DC, did the DCEU new. The new yeah, DC. yeah, we, we definitely get to that. People have been requesting that. So we are going to talk about Black Adam, the DCU. Is the Flash still coming out this year? It says and why support it? Why support Flash, Aquaman, and Shazam if yeah. it ain't building towards nothing? That's true. Especially since Aquaman is Lobo now. Like, unless y'all finna <laughs> right. show that. <laughs> like, I don't should, we for, should we wait for the end credits? That's not going to show anything. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, that'd be funny. They show that shit, and at the end, it's the Captain America one. So <laughs> you thought you were getting a good DC man. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is another song that's straight out of a comic book. Be sure to follow and support uh, the cat too. You can see all of this stuff at the bottom, man. And we are going to catch you next time. Man, The Rock really thought he was going to kickstart this whole DCU. He was like... <laughs> Hey y'all, I got some pass for y'all. I'm about to appreciate. Yo, he really did. He treated 